Hello, my friends, and welcome to the channel. As the great late Jim Rohn said, don't like how things are, change them. You're not a tree. Hello, and welcome to the channel. Great to have you here. I hope you're enjoying the new brand, the Electric Viking. Today, I'm going to talk about some stocks recommended by Goldman Sachs in the renewable energy sector in China. In fact, I'm going to talk about seven stocks recommended by Goldman in China. And I'm going to tell you which one of those is my preferred preferential stock out of those seven, and I'll tell you why. Now, this isn't me telling you you should buy these stocks. I'm just telling you what I think about Goldman's recommendation. Now, Goldman has said that many renewables are down more than 20% from their recent peak. And they've also said that their stock picks provide an attractive entry point into clean energy future. That we're all going to see. Government funding, regulatory support, and cash flowing into so called ESG funds, those that take environmental, social, and governance factors into consideration, are now set to boost the performance of renewable energy stocks, the bank has said. Goldman said, We think companies exposed to the energy transition are likely to, del to deliver unprecedented growth over the coming decades. Now, I've made another video about the US renewable energy stock, Goldman recommends. And I've given my feedback on what I think about those stocks. If you should buy any of those, well, I mean, it's just my opinion. You should do your own research. But if you're interested in those stocks, have a look. I'll put the link in the description below. In first place, not by order of importance, but simply by order of me sharing this with you, is China Longwan Power Group Corp Limited. Now, China Longwan Power Group Corporation Limited is a Hong Kong based investment holding company principally engaged in the operation of power plants and the generation of electric power. The company operates its businesses through two segments. The wind power segment is engaged in the construction, management and operation of wind power plants, as well as the generation of electric power for sales to power grid companies. The coal power segment is engaged in the construction, management and operation of coal power plants, as well as the generation of electric power to, for sales to power grid companies. This segment is also engaged in the trading of coal. Other businesses of the company include the manufacture and sales of power equipment, the provision of consulting services, the provision of maintenance and training services to wind power enterprises, as well as other renewable power generation. Now, one year ago, Longwan Power Group Corporation Limited were trading at $4.60. We're talking US dollars here, guys. They are now trading at $13.38. So they've tripled in value in the space of one year. When I say value, I mean tripled in price, not necessarily value. However, they do appear to be decent value with a PE of 17.13. I would say the market isn't pricing them in as a growth stock yet, and they certainly have plenty of room to grow as the renewable energy sector is going to completely disrupt the coal and gas sector by the end of, I believe, 2030, but others are saying 2040, and it may be 2040. So there's a lot of disruption to come. Would I recommend this stock? Well, I don't personally, I wouldn't personally buy this stock because I think they have too many assets in coal and in the area that they are about to disrupt. And I think they're going to have to write off those assets at some point or other. When that happens, I don't know, but I think it'll be sooner rather than later, considering the price of coal right now coal energy right now versus solar or wind energy which are far cheaper now there is one good thing about china long line power group limited they are based on the hong kong stock exchange and it's much easier for non-chinese or hong kong citizens to actually buy this stock versus some of the other stocks we're going to talk about which are on the shenzhen or other stock exchanges now the second stock that goldman sachs recommends in the renewable energy sector in china is Eve Energy Co. Limited. Now, unfortunately, they are on the Shenzhen Stock Exchange. Very hard to buy stock on the Shenzhen Stock Exchange unless you're in China or elsewhere in Hong Kong, etc. So, I'm not sure why Goldman Sachs is recommending you buy these shares unless they know some magical way to trade in them. This makes this stock, well, to be honest, a write off immediately. But let's talk about them anyway. Let's have a look at them just for in purpose of interest. Now, Eve Energy Co. Limited is a China based company principally engaged in the development, manufacture, and distribution of battery products. The company's main products include lithium, 
primary batteries, lithium ion batteries, and electronic cigarettes. Among others, the company's products are used in smart meters, remote controlled data, acquisition systems, intelligent security, intelligent home, intelligent transportation, data storage, and transmission, medical equipment, oil drilling, and military applications. The company distributes its products in domestic markets and to overseas markets. And the company was trading at 46 US dollars back in September of 2020, and they are now trading at 104 US dollars. So the stock has more than doubled in the space of less than 12 months. Now, is there a good reason for that? Well, I couldn't find any, to be honest. Their PE is 96, so there's definitely some future potential priced into the stock already, which is totally understandable, considering they're primarily a battery manufacturer, and there's a huge amount of growth and potential in this area. However, some of their products are for the oil industry, so therefore there is some level of write-downs there, potentially. Obviously, the oil industry isn't going to just disappear. I'm not trying to say that, guys. Don't put in the comments, you're saying the oil industry is going to go away. It's not. It's not. It's not. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying it will shrink. And if you don't think it will shrink, well, you're crazy. So whatever. So would I buy this stock if I could? Well, I can't. So, but the answer is no, I wouldn't. There's better opportunities out there. For example, CATL is a better opportunity in this, the stock basket of stocks I can't actually buy. And neither can you unless you're listening from China or Hong Kong or Taiwan. Now, our third stock is Hongwei Co. Limited, which is listed on the Shanghai Stock Exchange. Problematic, again, difficult to buy stocks on the Shanghai Stock Exchange. Unfortunately, Goldman, what are you guys thinking? Recommending stocks to us that we can't really buy. Unless you know some magical way, Goldman, please tell us what that is. Anyhow, let's have a quick look at Hongwei Co. Limited. Now, Tongwei Co. Limited is a China based company principally engaged in the production and distribution of foodstuffs. The company is involved in food processing and cultivation business, as well as the production of animal drugs. Meanwhile, the company is also engaged in the research and development, manufacture and distribution of polysilicon and solar cells. The company distributes its products in domestic markets and to overseas markets. Now, I should mention here, guys, I think the food market is also ripe for enormous disruption. I believe that there's things going on in the food industry that are going to completely change the way we look at food and what we eat, particularly in the meat industry. And that's a whole nother thing to talk about and a whole nother world to go into. In fact, it's a bit of a scary one. I probably wouldn't invest in any foodstuffs companies right now unless I had a huge amount of knowledge about what they're working on, what they're doing. And really, I don't understand enough about that industry. Considering this stock is basically 50% 50% of this company's business is in food. This is not a stock I would touch with a 10-foot pole because I don't know enough about food. Probably neither do most people, let's be honest, who reads about food every day. If you're watching this channel, there's a pretty good chance you read about EVs, batteries, renewable energy regularly. So you have a pretty good knowledge of that industry and where that industry is going. If you haven't been paying attention to that industry, then wake up, mate. That's where all the money's going. You should start paying attention. Now, the next stock Goldman recommends is also listed on the Shenzhen Stock Exchange. Very hard to buy stocks on that stock exchange. Don't, I don't know what Goldman's thinking, unless Goldman's trying to, t- trying to sell these stocks to Chinese people. And I don't think they are, because, I mean, honestly, as far as I know, Goldman is a US company, and I can't imagine that many of their subscribers are Chinese, but maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? Anyhow, this stock is SunGrow Power Supply Company Limited. They're currently trading at 115 US dollars and their low was $20 back in September of 2020. So in less than a year, the company has almost 6x, had a massive, massive jump in value. Its PE is now 77 and just its year to date change is 60%, just year to date, 60%. But obviously over the course of the last 10 months, it's 6x in value. Now, who are SunGrow Power Supply Company Limited? Well, they're a Chinese company principally engaged in the research, development, and manufacture of photovoltaic inverters as well as power station system integration businesses. The main products of the company include photovoltaic inverters, wind energy converters, energy storage systems, and motor controllers for electric vehicles, among others. Its power station system integration businesses include the development, design, and system integration of photovoltaic power generation projects as well as the provision of 
power station level performance, optimization services, and operation and maintenance services. The company operates businesses in both domestic markets and overseas markets. Well, to be honest, I think this is a company that are poised for enormous success in the future. However, I still wouldn't purchase this stock even if I could. I still think there are better opportunities elsewhere on the market. And if we're talking about China, I think there's better opportunities in China. The fifth stock on Goldman's recommendation list is Longy Green Energy Technology Co. Limited. Now, unfortunately, Longy are listed on the Shanghai Stock Exchange. Once again, very difficult for anyone outside of China, Taiwan, Hong Kong, to purchase shares on this stock exchange. Now, in August last year, Longy's shares traded at 33 US dollars and they're now trading at a all time high of 89 US dollars. So you would be buying at a high point if you bought into this company based on Goldman's recommendations. PE is 51.09, so not too bad if there actually are a growth stock. So let's find out a little bit about what they do. Now, Longy Green Energy Technology Co. Limited, formerly Xian Longy Silicon Materials Corporation, is a China based company mainly engaged in the research and development, manufacture, and distribution of monocrystalline ingots monocrystalline wafers, batteries, and assemblies. The company's products consist of monocrystalline ingots, wafers, polycrystal silicon materials, polyethylene glycol, silicon carbide powder, solar modules, and others. The company is also engaged in the investment development, construction, and operation of photovoltaic ground power plants and distributed power plants. It conducts its businesses within domestic and overseas markets. I like this stock. I think that they're diversified throughout the renewable energy sector and they're primarily focusing just on those renewable areas, which are, seriously guys, they're going to completely disrupt the traditional coal, nuclear, yes I said it, nuclear, if you like nuclear, you need to do some research on the true cost of nuclear, it's astronomical, it's nowhere near, not even remotely competitive with solar, wind and battery storage, and this is the market these guys are in, it's a market that I believe will potentially triple by 2030. Huge opportunity. Now the sixth stock recommended by Goldman is Renova Inc. They are listed on the Tokyo Stock Exchange. Much easier for foreigners to buy stocks on the Tokyo Stock Exchange. If you're not sure how to do that, send me a message and I'll give you the answer. Now Renova Inc. have also had an absolutely meteoric rise over the past year. Less than a year ago, the company was selling for 1,022 yen. They're now selling for 4,375 yen, so they've quadrupled in price on the stock exchange in Tokyo. Personally, I think you might have missed the boat on this one. I don't know what Goldman is suggesting. However, let's take a look at what they're doing and then make a decision. Well, Renova Inc. is a Japan-based company mainly engaged in renewable energy generation business and the development and management of renewable energy. With its subsidiaries, the company operates power generation businesses the company has three business segments, renewable energy power generation, which develops electricity sales business by operating renewable energy power plants, including large scale solar power generation, wind power generation, and biomass power generation. Renewable energy development and management supports establishment and opening of a renewable of new renewable energy power plants and supports operation after opening. They also recycle and remanufacture plastic and they sell recycled plastics. So a company truly in the renewable energy and the renewable markets. I like the sound of this company. PE is a fairly reasonable 66.8, and even though they've had a meteoric rise over the past year, I still see this company as having a huge opportunity. However, they're primarily based in Japan, so I'd need to do more research on what is happening in Japan, the renewable energy market in Japan, how much of that is already renewable, now, following the nuclear disaster in Japan, Japan has pretty firmly opposed nuclear power plants. So I see their nuclear power plants definitely being likely to close down over the next 10 years, not just based on public opposition, but of course also based on cost. I think Japanese people are fairly intelligent and doing things just for the sake of doing them is not something they enjoy. Now, currently Japan produces about 12% of its energy from renewable sources. However, Japan's fourth strategic plan set the renewable share goal to be 25% by 2030. Over the next 15 years, Japan intends on investing a minimum of 700 billion US dollars into renewable energy. So, huge opportunity there. 
for Renova Inc. to take a share of that pie. Now, seventh and final stock here is listed on the National Stock Exchange of India. And I can't say I've ever tried to trade on the stock market in India. I don't know how you'd even go about doing that, to be honest. I'll have to do some research and get back to you in a future video. This stock is called Adani Green Energy Limited. And fortunately, while they are based on the stock exchange in India, they also have a stock ticker on the New York Stock Exchange called Adani Green. So it's very easy for Australians, Americans, people in Europe to actually trade Adani. But the question is, should you trade Adani? Now this stock has also had an incredible rise over the past 12 months. Less than 12 months ago, it was trading at 305 Indian rupees and it's now at 1,124 Indian rupees. So it's more than tripled over the past 12 months. In fact, over the past 10 months, it's more than tripled in value. Now, Dani's current PE is 835, even higher than Tesla's. So obviously, investors see either stratospheric growth for this, for this company, or it's just enormously overvalued for some reasons, who knows. Now, Dani Green Energy Limited is an Indian-based renewable energy company, and the company develops, builds, owns, operates, and maintains utility-scale grid-connected solar power and wind power, hybrid projects, and solar parks. It owns a project portfolio of approximately 14,000 megawatts. It has solar power plants across various states, including Tami, Nadu, Kamataka, Punjab, Chhattisgarh, Telangana, Andhra, Pradesh, India, and others. Its wind power plants are located across Madhya Pradesh and Gujarat, India. So a 100% renewable energy company focused on wind and solar. Now I've made another video about Adani Green Energy Limited and how they actually started, who their primary investor was and how he built the company. It's quite an interesting story. I'll put it in the link below. Would I invest in Adani Green Energy Limited? Absolutely hell no. That PE is enormous. And to be honest, I think you'd be taking a pretty significant risk in investing in a stock like this. That said, I do see huge potential for this company as the Indian government is definitely supportive of solar and wind energy product products and they have installed one of the most ambitious targets of installing renewable power over the years. They have made substantial progress towards this target but are unlikely to meet it. The target is 175 gigawatt hours of renewable energy capacity in the country by 2022. Now, for a country such as India, which is the world's third largest emitter of greenhouse gases, the clean energy sector is crucial as it can help in tackling climate change and reduce the consumption of fossil fuels. Now, guys, it's not just people really criticize the renewable energy sector. They say it's just because it's like left-wing nut jobs that think we all should go renewable. And to be honest, that's just silly because it's not about that now. In short, that's part of the, part of the whole pie. But it's not the majority. The majority is mass. The majority is logic and science. Renewable energy is simply cheaper. Right now, it's the cheapest form of energy in the world. If you're watching this video now and you didn't know that, I've just told you a fact, and it is a fact. Right now, renewable energy is cheaper to install than to simply continue running a coal-fired power plant. So there is enormous scope for growth in this sector based on cost alone, not even just based on government policy or the perspective of green left-wing weirdos, which they're not really, most of them. Most of them are probably more logical than you give them credit for. But the reality is, based on simply mathematics, on simply providing power at a lower cost, a much lower cost, green energy wins right now, hands down. So therefore, a company like Adani has enormous potential in a country like India, where the government is pushing for more renewable energy. On that note, would I invest in any of these stocks personally? No, I wouldn't invest in any of these stocks personally. I see better opportunities elsewhere. Two of those opportunities, which I've spoken about many times on my other videos, are BYD and Tesla. And if you can invest in them, if you're based in China or you have access to the Shenzhen Stock Exchange, I recommend investing in CATL. I see them as continuing to maintain their lead as the biggest manufacturer of batteries in the world. Battery cells, I should say. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.